How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to One Shot. This game is a couple of years old at this point, but it's one that kind of passed me by. I never ended up checking out for myself, even though it did look really cool and a lot of people have said it's just an absolutely amazing experience. I hear it's only a se like several hours long, maybe closer to like four hours or something like that. So nice digestible experience, whereas a lot of the other things I've been playing lately are much uh, more expansive, longer running series. So I thought it'd be cool to dig into something a little shorter. And I'm not going to lie, it seems like it would be a cool opportunity to maybe revisit the whole secrets, references, and Easter eggs style of video that I did with Delta Rune. So I'm, I'm kind of going to keep my eyes open for that, but please keep in mind everyone who's watching, this is my first playthrough of this game. I am totally new to all of this, but dedicated to our beloved friend Felix. We miss you. Aww. But yeah, I have not played this before, so please watch it with spoilers and things like that. Please do share references and things like that as they come up in the game, or maybe if I miss... Uh, particular room and stuff when I'm going through things. Yeah, absolutely point that out, but please don't point out things sooner than I actually find them. I would say both for my sake and for anyone who wanders into the comments who also hasn't played the game before. Picking up items and combining them and stuff feels kind of point and click adventure-y, which is kind of interesting. Hello, ooh, what big bright eyes you have. Okay, that was kind of cool. I like the way that it uh, showed that and then zoomed into what it looks like kind of in, in the game world. <sighs> Hello? This is a neat character. I like those big glowing eyes. That stands out in a really cool way. Remote? There's a TV remote here. Nico. Nico? I'll go with Nico, but uh, that's, that's my interpretation. Too dark to read in here. I was not expecting to log in. Well, obviously, it's just going to be one, two, three, four. Are there any other passwords? If anyone has ever invented a more complicated password than that, then I, I stand in awe. <laughs> in my mind, that's as, as difficult as it could ever get, really. A soft, glowing light trickles through the window. Lots of big, gaping holes in the floor here. Looks kind of dangerous, wouldn't you say? A withered plant sits here stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Good, good, I got a stick. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to see where I could, how I could access the menu. Too hard to read in the dark. A flaky dry branch from the bathroom plant. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. I wonder where they're coming from. There's no water in the toilet. Well, that's gross. I would recommend not using it. The tub won't run. So this place is pretty dilapidated. Don't really know why we were staying here. Uh, I doubt we can stick it open. That seems like it would be weird. I, I'm kind of just playing around with how the combined mechanics and things like that work. Oh, wait, when it said Nico just woke up here, I thought it was saying like, uh, well, I guess it could be taken either way, but I thought it was saying like, hey, you just woke up. There's no, no need to go back to bed, but it might be saying like, you don't know how you got here. You, like, just woke up here. So I, I think that's more what it's going for. I can't, like, lock pick. Shit, I don't know what to do already. Oh, okay, remote on the window. I just, I just spent, like, a few minutes just interacting one thing with another until something happened. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. I should have, it, it clearly said in the thing, like, you can't read it. I should have realized I needed, I should just try and find a light source. All the numbers except 7, 9, 2, and 4 are missing. So I, I probably got to remember the, the color combination there. 7, 2, 7, 9, 2, 4. But is it in that order? On the computer, it's blue, green, red, yellow. Oh god, okay, I, <laughs> I got to write this down. That should do the trick there. <laughs> I had to I had to write that down. That was never sticking with me otherwise. Oh, it's cool. I like the, the concave screen there. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. <laughs> it's good. Do you still want to try? Okay. <laughs> Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. I'm, I'm reading this as if my as myself, not the character. And most importantly, you have 
One shot, Graham. <laughs> I had to switch over to display capture so that everyone could see that that popped up on there. The way the recording program is set up is that it r- records a specific uh, window or game or program or whatever. Now I have it just re- recording my entire screen so you can see that this thing just popped up on here, which is kind of cool. And it's kind of funny that it snagged my name out of there because I didn't give that. Uh, and my Steam name is a slightly more complex than that. That's wigging me out a little bit. Oh, shit, it totally got that from my computer. My computer ID is just, is just Graham. Oh, damn. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Well, that's convenient. We had a locked door. Hello? Anyone? Things are getting spooky in here. I'd appreciate if someone came and helped. The TV gives off a dangerous-looking spark. Maybe don't bother using the remote. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit? Uh, in that case, I would like to spark the twig. Nico readies the branch. It doesn't manage to light. Hmm, probably needs, like, I, I'm, like, probably one step removed. I need some sort of fluid, like, um, something to tie on the end of there, dip it in lighter fluid or something. Nope, definitely don't have a key. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. Delicious. Let's get ourselves a nice, uh, boozy branch going on here. Dips the branch in alcohol, and now I have a wet branch. But, like, the good kind of wet. Not the kind of wet where you can't start a fire. The kind where you start an extra big-ass fire. <laughs> Unstoppable, really. The sink won't turn on. Right. Makes sense. Just like every other instance of uh, plumbing in this game. Is this one just a chair? Or is this a special chair? Also just a chair. And just a table. Well, I th- there was a chance. There was a chance it could have been more interesting than that. Ah! It lights ablaze with a quite brilliant blue flame but it doesn't give off that much light that's pretty neat though what did it light up what did it help us find something on the ground glimmers in the firelight it appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack on the floor Nico digs it out basement key this thing looks old oh okay I was gonna exit out just because I have this in the, in the corner here, like this FPS thing that I was like, ah, maybe that's going to be annoying. And it doesn't show up when you do a game record, but it does when you do a display record. It's uh, a lot to get into. A lot of YouTuber behind the scenes stuff going on. But when I went to exit out, this action will record your progress in this world. So that's meaning it, it will save? Or is it telling me I'll, that it's the game will just remember that I like quit? To return to this world again, you need to relaunch the application. Yeah, that's normally how things work. Proceed? What if I say no? Okay, well then, what if I say yes? Quit and record your progress. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Nico feels uneasy. Did I did I wig something out by closing in the middle of the game? Did this character like n- realize that I did that? I don't know. I don't know if I just had some sort of direct on fa- effect on things by doing that. The flames are dim but comforting. Do you have anything to say about the couch or any of this stuff? The the little chair? Not at all, hey? I assume it's just a regular old key, but it looks like it's just a piece of wood in the shape of a keyhole. That there's not actually anything dug out for me to use there. Oh, I, I, I didn't realize I had an empty bottle from using up the alcohol. Uh, really? No, no way to use the key on that? Oh, there's still this room. Uh, but it appears to be locked. Oh, maybe this is the basement then. There we go. Oh, the trans- transition with the lit up eyes was really cool. I liked that a lot. That had a nice little hint of atmosphere going on in there. This character is really neat. Ah, the bulb. The bulb that's like you know, important to the game in one way or another, based on the fact that it was a part of the big menu screen and next to where it says you're playing one shot, the game icon is the light bulb, but it lights up as soon as you pick it up. Create some sort of connection. Yeah, just like that. Neat. 
Kind of makes the basement a little less scary. The music a little less scary as well. I don't think I could have kept going to the right. I'll just, I'll just assume that I could not have and carry on. Mm, so it wasn't a keyhole. I'm going to shove the light bulb into the hole. Damn, that transition looks cool as hell. Kind of makes everything look brighter and less spooky, doesn't it? The light bulb. Large light bulb. It's the sun. In it goes, right? Perfect. So maybe that's not a door. Am I just lighting up the world there? Making things a more pleasant place? Maybe I'll go back in time to a time when things aren't so torn apart? Nope. Teleportation did happen, but I don't think in time, only space. What's left of a computer terminal? Hmm. Seems to be a lot of damaged-ass computer terminals. I don't think any any one of them has any uh, special dialogue. What the hell? Are we out on the moon? Like, what is going on? Ah, they, they built a... a Basically a Washington Monument, but I have to think if Trump were to build a Washington Monument, that's the size he would make it. Uh, you now have fast travel, and it can't be used indoors. So, pretty straightforward then. I'm just kind of curious how one would do it. Travel. Alright, not a ton of options. I haven't, ex I haven't seen a lot, really. A robot. It no longer has power. And you, little critter? What's left of a robot? Oh, that's sad. What about this big sparkly pool? This looks cool as hell. I was hoping I could jump on in, have a swim, do some laps. What's left of a robot? Well, let's start piecing them together. Let's build ourselves a new full-on robot. I'm sure the parts of all these many would create one usable whole. Rather than just abandoning, abandoning them, scattered around as a bunch of useless fragments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you, you've long forgotten robots. I'm sure you still have value. What's up with that? Did I just like, was that just like a small transition? Just like a loading screen between areas? No, the layout changes slightly when I do that. Like you can tell from where the tracks are. So that's kind of a little bit interesting. Not sure what that could mean. Hello? Hello out there on the dock, on the boat, on the bay. Uh, hello? This, is this a robot too? I think so. He's just, it looked like he had a beard and a big red, red head of hair. Just has some sort of like cloak or something bundled up around instead. All right then. No one's going to help me. I guess I'm carrying on on my own. The horizon glows a faint green. That's not the usual horizon color. Not the horizon I'm used to. Hello there. This bed probably looks familiar to you, Graham. Nico first woke up in this world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. The game will exit automatically and can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. But now is no time for rest. That's weird. That every time you save the game, it closes it down. A broken off section of railing. Nico takes it. It's also interesting that the myself, Nico, and the game are separate in this way. Like, this is a story that I like I'm controlling Nico in a way as the removed omniscient uh, like observer or whatever, but I'm I'm still not the the narrator of the game, really. Like there's it's weird to have those three things separated like that. It's unique and I like it. The air here is unbreathable. Oh, immediately get out of there then. We need to get ourselves one of those, um, like tunics to pull over our mouth like that robot had. And also probably having metallic lungs would make a difference too. <laughs> he probably has some sort of fancy way to filter air. Probably doesn't have to worry about unbreathability of air at any point in his silly robot life. Okay, this is, I'm basically just near the opening area again. Metal rod, it weighs surprisingly little. Okay, I just want to check and see if I technically, yeah, okay, I do have a few fast travels available at this point, which is good. I wasn't sure how frequently they were going to become available, like, does that count as another one? Maybe. Not quite. Uh, but I was like, yeah, if they, if they don't come up often enough, then it's not going to be very useful. Uh, weird that this one is empty. 
All the other ones have had the, like, full of glittery liquid and stuff. And all of a sudden we've got one that's just a totally empty basin. I, I thought there would be something to top it up with, maybe. Ah! Well, hello there. What can I do for you? That light bulb. You're here. M me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence. Yes. This character is uh, capitalizing every word. Does Nico do that? Uh, thanks. Seems like not. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Allow me to explain some things. Also, everything is in brackets, and I don't really know what, what's up with that. May I first ask how you arrived here? I mean, obviously, it's a robot, so it's going to talk a little different, and I guess that's just how they're representing that. I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. When you say your prophecy, do you mean you wrote it? Because I'm not that impressed, you walking washing machine. Are you a savior? The savior we've been waiting for? Will you be the one to save our world from eternal darkness? Uh, my light bulb probably can't do all that. It can save, like, corners of a room, like a lamp's worth of darkness. <laughs> That's about as much as it can glow. My luminescent eyes can probably light up a little bit too, but only like a, a foot and a half. Uh, it'll now provide you with vital information. I will, not it. Please ask me anything. Oh, uh, well, would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? <laughs> you said ask me anything. Can you tell me about Rampart? All right, that's enough Reddit jokes. I'm moving on. <laughs> Tell me about this world. I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You are on the fringe right now, the barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was? I We're probably going to have to take the light bulb to that, right? Because our inventory said that the light bulb is the sun. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ooh, can you tell me about the light bulb? I've seen a lot of light bulbs in my day, but none quite like this. I found it in the house when I, that I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your son? Yes! Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of the world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Like a phosphorescent light bulb. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous son. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah. But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. I mean, somebody needs to. <laughs> Maybe somebody who's a little famili more familiar with the world would be better suited. That looks pretty far off. Yeah, uh huh? So you better get cracking. <laughs> ah, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. Yeah, most light bulbs are, man. Maybe get a more robust sun next time. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Ah, so we have one shot to reignite the sun. Do not miss your chance to blow mom's spaghetti. Is that what you're getting at? Oh, can you tell me about... The computer. In the house I found this computer? It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Ah, see, I don't really like, I've, it's weird that this has come up so many times in like the last like four games I've played, but I don't like when one character is like, oh, press the A button to do that. And the other character is like, what's an A button? Because it's just played out. It's a trope. It's been done too many times. This I like because this weird separation is like clearly a, a story point or something. They've folded these fourth wall breaks into the game in a really clever way. 
And so I, I really do like that a lot in this game. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Graham. Graham? Ah, uh, that would be our god. Oh, look at me. I'm going to get a big head here. If, <laughs> if you are here, that means Graham is here also. Graham will provide guidance for your journey. Hey, if people were ever curious how to say my name, this should give you a little bit of reinforcement. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Graham yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Graham, an ability no one else possesses. Certainly not I. Please, close your eyes and focus. All right. Oh man, you might have closed your eyes, but all I can do is look at your bright glowing. I want you to open them back up. They're gorgeous, just gorgeous. Hello? Graham, are you there? Uh, I don't know. It seems like it would be fun to be in a, a god in this position and mess with them and be like, nope, nobody's home. But yes, I am. I am here. Uh, it is my name. I'll, I'll keep that as my name. I, no need to switch it up. No need to confuse things. Yes. Oh, nice to meet you, Graham. My name is Nico. I'm sorry that you cannot say that out loud so I can ensure I get it right. Seems like we should learn each other's names. I don't really want to get it completely wrong. <laughs> I actually heard someone. They said their name is Graham. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Graham for assistance. Why did I think resistance? Assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. Can you tell me about going home? Oh, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent! I wish you luck! I wish you luck? <laughs> It just didn't even leave. Okay, okay, you just kind of set to a, a default walk cycle. I thought you just like, uh, see you later, but I don't actually have to be anywhere. Uh, so I'm just going to stay standing right here. Won't turn on. I'm guessing all these robots... Oh, it does have a different dialogue. A robot. It seems to be okay, it just doesn't have power. Well, he's in mo a better shape than pretty much every other robot I've come across in the world so far, so that's good news for him. A robot. Another one without power again. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. Is the robot that we met outside the one they're referring to? I feel like there's a pretty good chance of that. Empty dusty shelves, but it just says regular. Faded poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. And I see one more. Maybe it's the same posting. Reminder to all workers. The rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp's spawn period. Interesting. If you observe a pond with a bubbling over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Okay, so the little craters full of liquid that are bubbling and not bubbling sparkling and everything are the are the phosphor this box looks interesting i wish i had something to pry it open with i believe you do pipe won't fit under the cracks graham we'll need to flatten it somehow Ooh, we gotta build ourselves a crowbar do we safe charging solar battery model n87 self not safe one year warranty included simply place your self charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up Charges in seconds, no external power is needed. Oh, so is everything in this world like solar powered or like majority of things solar powered and that's why none of it's working right now? If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. 
one charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Sounds like a, a good bargain to me. I'll, I'll get right on that if ever I need it. One, a robot may not injure a living person or through inaction allow a person to come to harm. This is feeling like I robot rules. Two, a robot must obey the orders given to it by people except where such orders would conflict with the first law. This is exactly I robot, isn't it? And three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first and second law. I think that is literally I robot, like word for word. Map of the world. If the tower in the center, we're out in the barrens, we work our way into something, and then the glen, and then the refuge. So maybe there's just kind of inner and outer barrens, seeing as it doesn't kind of label them independently. Hopefully I can find a way to smash down our little bar. Page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. And it was just about to get into the succinct version of it that would be much easier to wrap my head around. There are a lot of small glowing shrimps swimming in the jar. Do we want, whoops. <laughs> I'm not gonna smash the sun. That was a mistake. I did not mean to do that, but it is kind of funny. Chaotic evil. I got to achieve and unlock chaotic evil for trying to smash the sun. I, I swear I wasn't trying to, but I think it's really funny. There's a lot of small glowing shrimp. Ah, I thought I could. I thought I could scoop it into my glass bottle or whatever, you know. Hmm. No such luck. I thought I could get a little phosphor shrimp for my own good. It's a big machine. Doesn't seem to be doing anything though. There's a rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. The metal rod, of course. No, don't smash the bottle either. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to combine these things. Hmm. I guess that's not the big piece of machinery we're gonna need to smush this down into a, a crowbar shape. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Uh, I'll say yes. Not really, but I was just kind of curious. Oh, you totally can ask more. Well, I guess we can get into it. The Barrens. It's so empty here. So barren, one might say. That's why it's called the Barrens. Are there any people living in the area? Besides robots, I mean? I do not know. I was not built to wander. Well, last I saw you, that's what you were doing. I guess it, there was wandering with intent. I just, I just didn't know the reason. Not built to? So, you just stand here. Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. Well, I'm curious how that works or what that means. Ah, whoops. My nurse joyed it big time. Have to be uh, a little slower. There we go. The prophecy. What is this prophecy exactly? The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house, find the sun, and illuminate the world. Oh. Well, what else did you, uh, foresee? What do you mean? What else do you see in the prophecy? Uh, wait. You are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no! But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is built into my programming. Your what? See, that's the easiest to explain thing that anyone said in this game here. That that doesn't need following up on. My programming is what guides me. I am a robot after all. Yeah, that, that one should have made a little bit more sense to you, Nico. There are computers in this world. I know you're not completely technologically illiterate. The tower. How tall is the tower? I can't seem to even see the top. I'm not allowed to answer. That's very peculiar. But how do I get up there? In time, Graham will know what to do. I see. I don't. Share with me, Nico, if you feel like you have the answers. Although, as God, I'm probably not supposed to come asking others for answers that I am likely meant to have myself. But hey, if you got some sort of something that could be useful to both of us, 
maybe maybe pitch it my way see if i see just double check just make sure i already knew it just humor me just uh give me a little something to go off of maybe well that is just a horribly inefficient train track i do not know why you would bother setting it up that way plus after all that uh useless figure eighting all over the place it just drives itself off a, a cliff and also it doesn't start anywhere so yeah it's about as dumb and useless as a railroad could ever hope to be i'm kind of curious about this little offshoot here it seems like it's gonna be important there's something interesting little little extra something something to discover way out here or maybe it's just a totally natural step of progression Graham, there's something in the air here hurts to breathe it's funny now that the character knows to like they can address me directly rather than just kind of being like i am talking to myself now we can talk we could we can make it a little thing Ooh, i want to make it to whatever that is in the middle of that island there the sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name i'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all damn that's dark yo but legit, that's like sad. That's so sad. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I've zigzagged my way to my little toaster oven friend. A metal safe. Seems to be locked with a six digit code. Uh, I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. Do, do you, Graham? I did not. So it's probably, probably something like that. Dang, hey? Well, hopefully if we just zigzag through all of these unknown destinations long enough, we'll just find someone who tacked it on to uh, some other less depressing note. Perhaps this one out here will be the source. Torn page with faded ink. Ah, uh, six X's. But maybe that's, it's kind of like a date format. With the mining operation going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We'll be able to build our more resilient robots both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of Metal Alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. So what are the odds 291 is the first or, or second part of the code? I'm, I feel like I'm kind of reaching, like that's unlikely, but it's one possibility. I'm willing, I'm willing to entertain that it might be a thing. Hmm, I don't really know exactly which areas are which since it doesn't like announce it to me when you when you reach a new one a Robot no power. He just he's just taking a little rest. Just uh, just taking a quick little rusty nap and Some of these walls are kind of interesting. It's like that one you can obviously walk up but some of the other ones look like maybe they could be too. I think I need to fast travel back to where I, I skipped by that castle or whatever it was. The entrance is roped off, and there's a sign here. Authorized personnel only. Visitors must see the head engineer for permission to enter the mines. I guess we should find the head engineer, which also got brought up in another one of those notes, and I guess it's not the robot guy who was just giving us, giving us tips. Okay, outpost. This is more or less where I wanted to be. No, I take it back. This is exactly where I wanted to be because I wanted to go into whatever this like giant factory is or or what have you. Sitting on the conveyor belt doesn't seem to have power. These poor robots. It seems to be okay. No power. Now I'm I'm really hopeful that we can help these guys out. These poor little robots. They have no purpose. They have no heart. And then I hope once we do restore it that we get to come back and like kind of see how maybe everything has sprung to life and ha has started started uh, enjoying life again in in servitude of humans <laughs> I don't really know if that's the case ah ha, ha, ha. here's a good place to stick a metal bar ah do you want me to crush the pipe in here Graham oh but I don't want to get too close oh you did it anyways well thanks thanks for risking it that was scary I thought I was gonna have to find a way to allow you to do that remotely makeshift crowbar made from a pipe uh, thank you. Thank you for risking it. I, I don't I feel like you don't hear me as much as I hear you Only when I get to like when it prompts me to enter dialogue, but I wish I could tell you. Thanks. Thanks for going for it real brave real proud of ya Now now we can access whoops are our, our cool safe Rob them blind this bar should do the trick I Paraphrased there's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here 
looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Did I take the glass as well? I did not. Apparently a battery has some broken glass in it. Ah, I see. I didn't realize it was in. Empty now. Still got some shards of glass at the bottom, though. Take them. Just in case. Just for S's and G's. Uh, what, what, what was the whole deal with this thing again? The shrimp. That's where the shrimp were. And this is broken, so maybe this won't work? The battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track, but nothing happened. Hmm, I can't, like, shake the broken bits out into the bottle. That wouldn't make a ton of sense, but I thought I would try it. I didn't really see anything else to be done in the in the factory there, so I guess we carry on back to the way we were going just a moment ago. Oh, I might not have come up this way before. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. I would like to know where to find one, maybe? It seems like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Uh-huh, but where would those be? Okay, right, this whole area, and I, I had skipped going into here. Oh, hello. Uh, much larger, much larger, cooler looking. Maybe, maybe not a robot. I thought it was a robot because the head looks kind of square, but then in the portrait there, it looks much more like a person. The light bulb. So, are you the messiah? I'm getting evil vibes. Only slightly, but a little bit, enough to be worried about. That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller? Okay, well that's not fair. You're like nine feet tall, obviously. <laughs> or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten? That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? I was kind of curious about that myself, but we hadn't really seen other humans in this world, so I wasn't sure what to make of it, and I was just gonna look past it, try not to judge. Nuh-uh, I'm a person. But you've got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, yeah, that's what she's saying. She's saying you're cat-like. She's not saying you're a cat directly. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. <sighs> this is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you are better off just leaving, letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. We? Am I tied into there? And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Uh, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend, and that the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it'll send you back home after you complete your mission. No, oh, don't take my word for it, though. Yeah, it seems like a bit of a gamble. Seems like you're just guessing, grasping at straws. Oh, I thought you were going to walk over and do something. Just going into your random generic walk patterns. Dear Silver, which I'm guessing is this lady, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you come back? It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. <laughs> At least let me know you got my message, okay? From Kip. The robots. I don't know if that's a spe specific type of robot, or if it's just like he doesn't, he's spelling it phonetically. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry. I just kind of have gone grabbing at whatever I want whenever I want, and I'm not really used to being told no. Sorry, I, I get curious. Like a cat. What is this thing? It's a backup power cell. Keeps me functional. So you are a robot. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Can this thing fix my battery? This is some kind of power cell, apparently. The word silver is written on the side. Why does it say that? That's not important. Oh, so do all robots have the brackets around their words? Because that might be useful for me to recognize. Uh, interesting. So when it refers to silver here, 
is probably referring to her, and then she wrote it on there as like a thing of property, not as a label for it. Something is poking out from the shelf. Ah, a screwdriver. You can take that if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? I uh, would appreciate it, because then I won't have to steal it. <laughs> yes, I have many. Thank you. Also, probably like probably your fingers and stuff are screwdrivers. What do you care about one loose one? Lots of tiny shrimpers swimming in the jar. Again, I wanna I wanna take a shrimp jar. I'm very curious about it. The top is covered with a wire mesh. And another jar, wire mesh again. Ooh, chess! The chess table has two small chairs. Silver, do you want to play? Metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. No? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens has the capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. Hmm, so if robots are programmed and you tame them, then you allow them to do things outside of their generic programming? A bed. It's made of metal? Doesn't look very comfortable. I'd recommend making beds out of bed materials, not metal. That's my advice. What if you have visitors? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know, someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. Intriguing. Well, I'm going out your back door here. Or your uh, giant window. Hmm. Cannot actually interact with that. It's a photo of two people. The glass is a bit too foggy to see details, though. Is it a picture of Silver and someone else? When they were both not robots, are they cyborgs? I'm filling in a lot of blanks here for myself. <laughs> Rather than letting the story kind of play out and reveal these details to me. I'm making leaps and jumps aplenty. Hmm, well, I kind of get the impression that I've gone, well, not necessarily everywhere that I can, but it seems like I've been exploring quite thoroughly. I don't know what to do with any of this at the moment. Maybe I just try and do a save in the bed, just to see how that closes things out. I'm a little tired from walking. Oh, do you literally have to save now and again to progress the story? That might be the case. So that might just, that might work out very excellently for me. So this is probably where the episode's gonna wrap up then. Is it alright if I take a nap? I would say yes. Graham from on high says yes, take a nap. It's probably good for your soul. And there, it literally closed itself down. That's so weird. Such a weird game mechanic that I've literally never seen before, and I, I kinda I kinda dig it, because it's just it's unique. Again, keep an eye out for references or secrets and things like that. Let me know. Let me know, but try not to spoil things if I still might find it myself, you know? Maybe this game's not gonna be littered with references. It doesn't seem like that type of game, but Easter egg secrets might have some of that. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon.